Hi there. Thank you for watching this video. This is Kirtan here. So today we are going to look into how to utilize Microsoft Flow to automate certain tasks. For our example today we are going to look into how to query stored procedure from a Microsoft Flow, retrieve the output of a stored procedure, attach it as a CSV file for an email and send an email on a regular interval basis. Microsoft Flow comes with a huge range of extensions which are the plugins which you can utilize for certain tasks different tasks and it has huge library of all the available plugins so those are connectors and there are certain variable components which we can utilize to automate the task where we don't require user intervention and certain parameters are also calculated parameters or they are coming from somewhere else so it has a good focus from Microsoft and it has improved quite a lot flow. So let's get right into it. Hi. So to start with our uh, exercise, we'll first need to log into Microsoft uh, flow. And once you have logged into the system, uh, select the appropriate environment where you want to create your uh, flow. So I have selected my dev environment where I am going to create a flow. And once you are on the correct environment, just click on create. Once you click on create, a new window will pop up where you will actually see the templates which are available for you to utilize. So you will see there are certain blank templates where you can create flows. Basically these are blank canvases. So you can start from the scratch, use your imagination or your logic and based on that you can create your flow. Or you can utilize the existing flow where you have plenty of uh, options and all these templates are good templates so sometimes you may, may not know whether the task which i try to uh, which i am trying to accomplish uh, whether it, is it possible through the flow or not so in that scenario i would recommend going through all the flows so you will get to know that uh, what is the actual capability of this tool and uh, how rich this platform is and how the microsoft is on a regular basis it is enhancing this platform so that it uh, can do as much task as possible so our task is to connect to sql and execute the stored procedure so to start with i am going to actually click on create and I am going to click on automated cloud flow. Uh, sorry, I am going to click on schedule cloud flow. So here you can see automated, instant and scheduled. So automated is triggered and on a particular event. So it is kind of like if a record is created, that is an event. So on that event, this flow is triggered. So it will execute the flow on an instant cloud flow, which is a manual thing. So after the creation of this flow, you will be actually selecting the flow to run. And then you have scheduled flow. Scheduled flow is something which I am looking for that this flow should execute after certain interval, either on a daily basis, on an hourly basis, or on a interval of a five uh, minutes or bi-weekly or weekly you can decide your own schedule and uh, the flow will automatically on that particular uh, time it will actually start the execution so i'm going to click, click on schedule cloud flow i will specify it as demo flow for demo flow SQL. 
So starting from so and so date, it will actually today starting today eight minutes and repeat after. So I'm going to repeat it on a daily basis. So on a daily basis, I'm going to run this flow at 10 a.m. every morning. So now we can specify every day and you can actually skip this also if you don't want to specify the schedule at the inception phase you can just skip it and create and you can decide the schedule later on so i have already decided so i'm going to click on create okay <clears throat> okay so for our exercise we'll create a scheduled flow and we'll name it as demo sql sv csv so starting today every morning this flow would execute at 10 a.m and I'm create it so now you can see the recurrence is available now my next step is to call the stored procedure from sql so for sql server i already have the connection and i'm going to utilize the execute stored procedure so i'm going to utilize the same uh, connection which I have made database name and stored procedure so now you can see that we have a list of all the stored procedures available and uh, it will give you the list of all the stored procedure which are there or uh, at the database level so I am going to utilize the stored procedure called ptcl emma stored number so this is a stored procedure where I am actually passing uh, whether this should execute on a monthly basis or on a daily basis and uh, I am going to uh, pass the parameters of uh, date from and date till. So uh, I am going to utilize a stored a function over here which I already have so I'll just copy paste the function to get the current date and also from and till date so this is also I'm going to utilize the same so this is nothing but uh, it's just a dynamic content so we can use an expression over here so what i have done is uh, i have added a string expression from date time at days utc like that so it is actually a string uh, and then you can under the string you can specify from date time and then you can specify days and just like that you can create the expression so instead of writing that I have just copied that expression and I'm just utilizing that now as you can see that my stored procedure is ready to be executed now I need to capture this output of the stored procedure in a CSV file so for that we have okay so here you can see that we have create csv table available so here i'll say okay this is my create csv table and uh, now uh, my form is my result set okay so result set 
table one. So this is uh, this is the return item from my stored procedure. So this I am going to specify that this should be stored as a CSV file. And now my next step is. send an email so here you can see that uh, we have lot of uh, options to use the connector so either you can specify office outlook gmail whichever you want so uh, for my example, I'm going to utilize this send an email outlook and in the advanced option, my attachment content is output of uh, this create CSV and attachment name would be similar to the string and I would say I'm going to create a file like this. I'm going to do the concat. So we'll see this. Okay, so two is required. Okay. Oh, sorry. I forgot to specify this. So two would be my email ID. This can this also you can parameterize. Gmail.com. Subject demo. Font same demo so no CC BCC I don't require and you can just save this now and this would actually after the saving you will see whether the uh, saving is done properly or not so now the error we are getting is parameter date work here to be maximum string of n but it is a length of a string so for this for procedure uh, the error is for form date from format date bye bye mmbd Maybe I just copy pasted the wrong one. Okay, format date time. And okay, I guess this should suffice. Let's see.
Okay, so now our flow is ready and it will run on a daily basis and we'll see the file executed and sent as an email for us. Or we can always run this flow on a trigger base. I can just click on run and it will start the flow and we can see whether it has run successfully or not. So let's wait till the time it finishes the execution. As you can see, I have received this Gmail. I have received the email on my Gmail account, and the file is attached as CSV, and I can just see the content of the file. So, this is how you can send an email on a daily, regular basis for. So this is how you can send so so this is how you can actually send an email on a regular basis with the use of flow and attach your csv file from the stored procedure at a, as an output so i hope this helped you with some, uh, I <clears throat> so I hope this helps you in your development journey and happy texting. Thank you.